greetings and welcome to the most requested mystery box unboxing ever requested on my channel. I mean, just look. Mm -hmm. I've been tagged on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, a little bit of everywhere. And for those of you who don't know, this here is Sugar Buzz Minis in Minis. The concept of these miniatures is that you get miniature items, but inside those items, you open it up and get more miniatures. Oh my god! That is the biggest thing I keep complaining about when it comes to mini brands, is that they just don't open up and give us more. So the fact that this box is out is making me very excited. <laughs> now don't be fooled, this entire set was $150 US this much in Canadian. And since we don't have it here in Canada, guess what? It was sent to me by my good friend Ace of Clay, who ended up meeting Salty Crafter somewhere in the forest and they did an exchange and Salty Crafter made her way to me and brought it over. And there are 24 individual mystery boxes. Now in each one it says that there are two minis and six minis included. So what we see and another mystery one on the inside. So for obvious reasons, we will be doing this in multiple parts and not just one video. You know, just to enjoy the opening and actually seeing the experience, how much worth it actually is. And you can see that they did collaborate with so many different known brands from the box itself here. Let me know in the comment section below which one one of these is your favorite brands or what is your favorite kind of sweet or dessert or guilty pleasure for me it's cookie butter I didn't know they existed until this year and oh my god someone needs to take them away from me and while you're down there don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications so that you can continue seeing what else is in this box I do have sharp pointy things and I will only use them if I need to open boxes. I know that many of you grains after a long day wants a relaxing game to just take it easy. And that is why today's sponsor in a game I've been recently adoring, Sherlock by G5 Games. And conveniently for you, here is a QR code that you can use. Sherlock is an absolutely wonderfully and gorgeously aesthetic game where not only do you play find the object within a beautiful scenario, which are some of my favorite games, but you also get to play solve match three kinds of puzzles and you get to meet different characters that are very familiar from stories that we know. So you get to join Sherlock in unbelievable new investigations. So you get to be a detective, solve puzzles, investigate crimes before the real world turns upside down. And not only that, but you get to enjoy free regular updates with new books and fascinating cases. By the way, a developer of this game is G5 Games and they're celebrating their 21st anniversary right now. And you can also sync your G5 Friends account, which allows you to sync your progress using your account on different devices. So you can play on your computer and then go outside and play on your tablet and so on. So again, check out my link down below and take part in G5's 21st anniversary. Not only did G5 create Sherlock, but other really pretty games like Hidden City. Now, one of my biggest questions is, will we get the entire set? I bought the entire display case, which means there should be the entire set. It does say there's 66 to collect, and it does say on the box that there are two minis included. I'm wondering if it's two including the one that we see, so three in total or not? Because if there's six minis inside the minis, and in here we can see that there's two, technically there should be two other ones, right? Let's see at the end of all of the unboxings if we actually manage to get all 66 items. Otherwise, why did I spend my money? My little heart and just can't just, oh, buy money. It just a cry and break my heart if we don't get everything. Please let me know. Do you think I will get it all? Or just a break my heart? And here we have our lineup of our first eight set. Now, some of the ones on top do seem to repeat, but I'm hoping the ones on the inside really are going to be different. So we're just gonna move these over there. There. And let's go ahead and start with something a little international, cotton candy. I love cotton candy, but specifically the ones that actually have flavor, not just the ones that are sugar. They do make them flavored. I do like grape. All right, let's see the opening experience of this box. Okay, I like that. And then, okay, we have a protection. So the first thing we see is a cotton candy box with little cotton candy on the inside. Oh, look at that. That opened pretty easily. And I'm guessing these are the minis inside the minis. I don't think these will open. No, because then they would be called minis in minis in minis. 
So here we have the packaging. Very simple. We don't get any kind of nutritional value or ingredients or anything like that. So in terms of detail, we don't have any. Unlike with mini brands, they actually do put details of the item, the ingredients list, and sometimes even just the packaging as it is in real life. So let's see what's under there. Okay, this is where it gets mystery box-esque. Okay, oh, 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 wait, that's a lot of paper. <laughs> okay. Oh no. What? Wait, what? Are we starting off wrong here? I think there's false advertisement. So in here feels like one other item, and it says six meanies in meanies to collect. Do they mean just six, including the bigger meanie? What? Let's just get into that and then we'll find out. Is there an easy way to open you? Yes. And you are? Oh, what is that? Otter Pops Original. I don't think I've ever had this before. Let me know in the comments section if you did. We can already hear the minis on the inside. Packaging is really cute. Again, there are no details. But let's go ahead and open. Is it from here? Yes. And let's see the packaging. Oh my god. What are these? Are they like Twizzlers? So we have the mini sticks of Otter Pops. These are tiny. Look at that. You can see my fingernail right here compared to all four of them. Super tiny. This is what I wish mini brands would do. This is actually pretty good. It still is lacking details, so I don't even know what Otter Pops are. Okay, we're starting off okay here. In you go. This is just satisfying. Voila. And this seems to be the guide. What is th that? Is not the guide. This is giving me flashbacks of the um, world's smallest toys. They just shove this in there. This is advertisement. This is not the product information. This is just advertisement of their other products, which is kind of misleading. I am not a huge fan of that. Stop putting advertisement in there. This is not 1980s. Stop it. And I'm guessing this is the guide. There we go. Voila. It looks like they include out of the 66, just different colors of the same thing. I'm not sure I like where this is going. All right, Mentos are international, right? I feel like Mentos is a little bit of everywhere. I've even seen Mentos in Egypt, so let me know if you do have them. They're basically breath mints, breath chews. They're okay. I feel like everywhere around the world has done the Mentos Coke challenge. All right, here we go. We should hear some rattling on the inside. Yes. Oh, it opens from the top. That's different. Come on. I don't got no... Oh. Oh, they come with the little tubes. I thought they would actually come in those little pill things, but I feel like this is probably safer because you won't lose them as easily. Three of them. And again, here's the packaging. We don't get any kind of information, ingredients, and all of that stuff that normally comes into packaging. So despite the fact that they are collaborating with brands, they're not getting the actual brand packaging. Still really cute. I'm liking it so far. I'm just being extra critical because it did cost me a lot of money. And let's get this out. There we go. That's a lot of paper. They really do be like the wasting. Oh, this one's open? What the shrimp? Okay, that one's apparently open and we have Pez! Oh my god! Pez is a really old school candy. I, I, when was it created? Editor, time for you to do some research. When was Pez first created? I feel like it was created maybe in the 70s. Correct me if I'm wrong. And it's like a candy dispenser that comes in all sorts of fandoms, everything from Star Wars to Sesame Street, and I think My Little Pony and beyond. So the question is, are we going to actually get Pez figurines or is it just going to be the, the pill box candies? So let's see, here it looks like a candy wrapper. We have texture. Let's open it. Oh, this way. And, oh, okay. So we don't actually get the dispensers. That is too bad. And this is peeling right off. Oh gosh, there you go. You know, I'm starting to think I know the reason why the company didn't want me to buy it off them. I did contact the company. I'm like, hey, I see you're not selling this in Canada. Could I buy it off you directly? They emailed me and they're like, nah, bro. We, we don't sell it to people, but they do send it for free to other YouTubers. And I can see why they didn't want to send it to me because I wasn't exactly the nicest with their other products. <laughs> And here we have the tiny minis. Here it says assorted fruit, which is at least a good bit of detail, which we haven't seen anywhere else. Let me see artificially flavored, and that's about it. It's unfortunate that we don't actually see the miniature version of these candies, but you know what? It's a good start. Let's put these back in. And these are not 112 scale. In case you're wondering, I usually like toy photography with 112 scale, but these are definitely way bigger. 
Nope, wrong way. There we go. I would say they're closer to Barbie-esque type size. Time for Chupa Chaps! Chupa Chup Chup Chupa Chup Chup Chups! That's what I've been trying to say since the beginning. <laughs> for those of you who don't know Chupa Chups, they're basically lollipops? I remember them more of the powdery kind of lollipops. Or is that all in my head? I don't remember. If it exists, it's on the screen. I have to say though that the unboxing experience is pretty fun. As long as we can get it up. There you go. Chupa Chupa Chups! And here they are. It gives us the idea of the flavors. I think this is like cola, strawberry, apple, and does it show? Strawberry something. Not sure. So here's the packaging. It is a little damaged. And in the back, same thing. We still don't get the nutritional information, the ingredients, blah, 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 as they normally would be in packages. So from here, we should be expecting tiny lollipops, right? Yes. Oh, that is disappointing. So we have what looks like candied apples. Let's zoom you grains in. So they kind of look like candied apples and it says chupa chups right on top. I half expected them to be wrappers to be very honest. And I guess we got the red ones so you don't even get a variety within the same box. You just get one kind and hope to get the rest. But I kind of expected them to look like these. These look like wrappers. I guess we'll find out when we open the dum-dums. Minis and minis, you're so close. You're so close. Just not quite there yet. But the concept still is pretty cute. I'm trying to be positive here. It's really hard. <laughs> Me as a person, I can try and be as positive as I can. But the salt shaker knows my true intentions. It'd be turning red. So we're gonna have to take that off the list to see if that is part of... That is a lot of paper. Can you please stop wasting? That is quite the storm. But yeah, just don't put your advertisement. Keep that on your website. If people are interested by your other products, they'll go looking for them. Trust me. All right, what we got here? Oh, oh, what the shrimp? What the shrimp? What the heck? Is that a mistake? Hang on. Okay, that is weird. What the heck? So in the baggie, we got this one. Flavor ice. I don't hear anything inside. So we have the cotton candy boxes, similar to this one, except we have three, but we're supposed to get popsicles. Did they, did they not give us the popsicles? They didn't give us the popsicles. No. Imagine I actually bought this box, just one individually as a person who wanted to check it out, and I end up getting this defective, wrongly packaged item. So instead of getting popsicles, I get three of these things? Oh no. I tell you, Grace, I don't make this stuff up. Why would they do- why would they put- why? So many questions! Why would they put the cotton candy instead of this? Because according to the packaging, we're technically supposed to be getting these things right here for the inside. One of these three flavors. But we don't get it. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe they saw my challenge and I don't give it to this one. This one knows a little too much. <laughs> what are we opening here? Peeps. Peeps are huge in the US. So for those of you who don't know, they're basically little marshmallow in the shape of chicks. Little chimkins. And they taste like nothing, honestly. I've only tried them maybe once or twice in my life. And even as a little baby grain, I was not a fan. They didn't even taste like proper marshmallow. They tasted like air with sprinkles. I didn't like it. Let's listen. I am expecting little baby chimkins in here. Okay? Do not disappoint me. Don't do this to me. Don't give me a box with a drawing of a chimkin. You're joking! No! What is that? Is that gum? What is this? This is supposed to be the marshmallows. So why isn't it tiny chickens? They're just cubes. They look like bubble gum. Oh my god! <laughs> Missed opportunity. So close. You're so close. So close. Hire me as a consultant. I keep saying this to so many mystery boxes companies. You will not have a better consultant than me. Just saying, I know what we want. I know what we, the people, want. What is this? Okay, now they have to go in a specific order. Okay, there you go. You happy now? Cause I ain't. <sighs> what other disappointment awaits me in this box? What are you? More garbage? And a mystery box. Watch it be two of the same thing. Dum-dums. So we have a pack of original mixed dum-dums. Again, 
oh, with the shrimp. Is that on purpose? Did that go backwards? This way and that way. Sticker on this one went backwards. It's upside down. <laughs> Let's check the other ones. So this one, utter pops, utter pops. This one, upside down, right side up. I can see why so many of you thought I would like this, but they're so far. Yet yeah, so close. All right, let's open your dum-dums. Let's open them dum-dums. And there we go. Finally. So these are not wrappers, but they're plastic and they look quite like wrappers. So at least there's that, even though they didn't fully finish the entire paint job on every end. At least they look like wrappers. I mean, at least they tried, right? <laughs> what is this? This is going to be like a two or three part series of just me being angry. Okay. Let's move on. So, so far we've seen sticker problems of printing upside down. We've seen item issues of putting the wrong minis in the minis of the wrong actual box. And we've seen a lack of creativity with the peeps. Put the mini chimkins. Dodge guard darn damn it. What are you? Slime lickers. I think these were very popular back in the 80s. Let's look at them. 80s or 90s. It's from the brand Toxic Waste that also makes these miniature garbage cans that have candies on the inside. So basically it's supposed to look like an old school deodorant that you can lick. So I am expecting miniature looking deodorant things that should look like you can lick them, right? Right? And the answer is, where do I open you from? I hear there's something inside, but where do I open? From here? Oh, from here. Okay. Oh gosh. There we go. Okay, got you. And... Okay. Oh, this, oh, okay. We still have sticker issues. Let's go ahead and peel those. So we have mini looking lip balm things. Close enough, I guess, not too bad. And here's what they look like. At least they're similar-esque. They have the exact same sticker as the outside. All right, no comments so far. Let's see the next one. A bunch of trash. Okay, this is a square box. Let's go ahead and open you. Oh no, not another peep, another peep. Are they different colors? Because I think the ones we got were pink. So let's see what this one is. And these are the yellow ones. So they don't at least look like bubble gum, but they are an absolute waste so far of money. Had I known these would be looking like this, I don't think I would have spent the $150 US on them. Let's just keep going and see. Maybe it gets better from here. I don't know about that. So the set that I got has 24 different boxes. And if we look over here, there's 22 different items. So in theory, hopefully, we should at least get one of each. I mean, if you're buying the entire case, the entire set, this is the hope, right? That you would get the entire set. I'm going to check them off at the end of the video and show you which ones we got. And then the varieties of the miniatures inside the miniatures basically look like this, which I don't want to look at because I don't want to spoil it for myself. I kind of want to be genuinely upset by it. I don't want to be upset ahead of time. I want to be upset in real time. <laughs> All right, what are you? Oh, you're the flavored ice we didn't get. Okay. So the other flavored ice pops that, oh, this one actually has the items. The flavored ice pops that we got previously came with cotton candy, unbeknownst to me for some reason. So this one should actually have the ice pops. Why are they so difficult to open? There you go. And here we go. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Why am I saying lazy? But Jackie, you're being mean. No, I'm not. Listen, this is your ice packs. And these are the otter pops, right? I don't know if those are popsicles, but regardless, wait, we actually got an extra one. There's so many mistakes within this packaging. This company has so much room for error. Oh my God, it's the exact same thing. They just colored it different and put a different logo. There's no effort on the packaging. And we were supposed to get three of them, but we actually got four, so. They're making so many mistakes. They probably have meetings and they're like, why are we losing money? Gee, I wonder why. You're putting extra things in different places and the wrong things in other places. I don't think I've been this salty in a long time. Next item here. Oh no, another Otter Pops. These were red. Let's see what color is on the inside of this one. Again, no details. This is what they look like. I feel like these could be popsicles. But the issue is, is that because there's no information on the packaging itself, you're taking for granted the fact that you already know all of these items. Not that, hey, maybe someone else from somewhere else doesn't know what these are. And here we have the orange version. See, we actually got three this time. I like orange flavored anything. In you go. The sound is satisfying though but not the item themselves. So let's go ahead and do moon pies. 
So moon pies, in theory, maybe I'm asking for too much here, but in theory, we should be getting little packages of little chocolate softy gooeyness, right? Editor is doing us a favor by putting them on the screen because we get a box. So we should be getting tiny little miniatures like this. Okay, here's what the packaging looks like all the way around. Again, no information. It says chocolate and it says real sugar. Good to know. I guess the fake sugar would be the corn syrup. And what do we get? Yes! Oh my God, finally, finally something good. I know the bag isn't see-through and it's not even a bag. It is, everything's plastic so far. At least, look at that. You can tell that there's a little cake in here because it bulges out of the baggie, okay? At least there was some effort done on the design of this moon pie. So this is good. We have the moon pies finally. They're very close. I have to tell you that very close, but yet you have to little fall. And let's get you out. This one's round, so I'm gonna guess it's more of that toxic waste lollipop deodorant looking thing. And the answer for that one is, yep, exactly the same thing. Now they haven't made an effort to change the outside of the box. I think these were red. So let's see what color we get on the inside of you. And it is also red. So we have our first official full double, not only on the inside, but the outside as well. And we have more to open, so I hope you're in this journey as committed as I am. <laughs> this here is Mike and Ike. It's kind of like a jelly candy, if that's the best way I can describe it. It's like a hard outer shell, kind of like jelly beans, but they taste a little bit more sugary. That's the best way I can explain it. And here it says original fruits, chewy assorted fruits flavored candy. So yeah, again, candy and chewy, a little bit of both. And you could see what they look like. I don't know if the original packaging looks like this. So they have white borders around the actual candies and the back, oh, what the shrimp? What the heck? Why is this inconsistent? There's a lot of inconsistency. I am not a perfectionist, but this bothers me. So on this side, we see the white borders and on the other side, no. Why though? Can someone explain this to me? Was this a draft? And they ended up printing the draft for the final product? Is that what's, what's going on here? Now, I would like to see actual miniatures of these things. I don't want another square with another logo on it. I, I don't want that. And yet that is what we get. Wait, there's only two. What the heck? There's only two. Where's my third one? Oh, I got cheated. I got four in one and then two in this one and then most of them three. There's supposed to be three. What the heck? Okay, so we see that there's a blue one in here. Let's see the packaging on this side. Okay, we don't have the white borders. And there we go, we dropped it. You saw nothing. There are so many inconsistencies with this company. Let's look inside in case something's stuck and the answer is no. I would be very angry. As a consumer, I am a consumer. As a consumer, I am angry because I am not getting any kind of consistency from products of this company. We did do the world's smallest and they were not consistent either. So I can't stand this. What is this? Let's move on. And let me know in the comments if you feel like I'm being unfair or if the company really is, un what's the word? Inconsistent. I don't know why un was on my head, but okay. What do you offer? Please be good. Please be good. Please. Oh, what's that? Original candy wafer. I've never heard of this. Neko. Okay, since 1847. Maybe it's a big thing in the US, but I don't think I've ever seen this here or at least had it myself. So from this, I'm going to guess we're going to get a wrapper that has different colorful images on top of it. Okay, again, anything that I'm not sure of or I mentioned that you're going to see it on screen just in case, but okay, let's open you and oh, four of them. <laughs> Four of them. Sometimes you get three, as you're meant to. Other times you'll get two, because we cheat you. And other times we'll give you four, because we're generous. Just say you're confused. <laughs> so here they are. Here we go, the uh, wafers from Neko. Not sure if there's a variety of them, but this is what they look like. We got four instead of three. So there's definitely product issue here. So if we look really quickly on the list of items that we could potentially get from the mini versions, we basically got 26 out of 39, which means the rest could potentially be repetitive. However, however, they do claim that there is a sparkly version of the popsicle 
and a sparkly version of the Peeps. So I'm really excited to see what those look like. And then super rares of these toxic waste ones, which we haven't seen yet, these specific ones. Now I honestly don't know what the difference is between their really rare, rare, and super rare because they're all sparkly. So it's not like with mini brands, at least they have the golden version, they have the rose gold, they have the glow in the dark. These are all basically the same thing. I'm not seeing the collectability of these. A lot of YouTubers are probably hyping them up. Don't fall for it so far. Again, thank you to G5 for sponsoring today's video and wish you lots of great games. Games. Happy anniversary celebration. Let's go ahead and join them. Let's see what part two holds for us. If you want to see another video of me opening this product's company's things, check up here. And if you want to watch something a little less salty, check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.